What's up, everybody? It's your boy Murdick 3K, aka M3K Tactical. There is nothing tactical about me, and today we are talking about some alternate ammo storage solutions. Or, to be honest with you, these could be your main storage solutions for your ammo. In any case, we're going to get right into it. So what you're looking at right in front of you is something that I picked up from Walmart. Now, a lot of you guys are no, from, you know, strangers to Walmart. You know that in their um, sporting goods section, they have these green uh, storage box containers for your ammo. It's marketed toward that. They uh, they work. I have a few of them, actually. But I was venturing through in the hardware section, and I came across this storage container. This is marketed as a uh, utility storage box, and it is exactly the same size and almost the same dimensions as the, well, I would dare say it's the exact same dimensions of the uh, storage ammo solution that you have at Walmart. The only difference is these do not stack with those ammo boxes if you want to stack them. They only stack with the other utility boxes. I have a translucent one here, and let's take a look at this labeling, right? So this is the HyperTuff Stackable Utility Storage Box. And what we have here, it is water resistant, three locking points included, and it has one metal latch right here. So if we take a look here, we notice it has an O-ring. And a lot of times we see that O-ring and we mistake water resistance for waterproof, especially when we see that O-ring as it is. Now I'm going to tell you because I've experimented with this and I'm going to show you the experiment. What you can do with this thing, you can get it wet. It could take a rain without like let's say a rainstorm or a sprinkling or a hosing down uh, without water getting into this container. But when it comes into being submerged in water, as soon as this handle is lifted, if it's loaded up anyway, as soon as you lift up on this handle, or pressure is applied to the sides of this container, water rushes right in. We're going to conduct a paper towel test to show you guys what that looks like. But before we do so, I wanted to go show you that this also comes in black, as we see here. This is an older one I had, but as you see here, I stack them and they stack together. They lock in place through those little points at the bottom right there and the little legs on the box. So that's how they roll right there. Let's get this back and there we go. There it is. Yeah, so they work. There's a big debate uh, amongst a lot of people and you'll read across this all over internet world is the plastic versus um, metal gun storage boxes. And to be honest with you, from what I've read anyway, it does sound like there's a very strong case for metal when it comes down to uh, storing your ammo uh, to keep moisture out. But in the same vein, if you're keeping your ammo in a climate controlled environment, keeping the box sealed, only getting the ammo out when you want to, um, for long term storage anyway, your ammo is going to be fine. And to be honest with you, for the average user, you'll probably cycle through your ammo uh, before um, atmospheric moisture plays a factor in it anyway. At least I do. I want to share something quickly with you guys that's a, a bit of a tip and you might already be up on it. So if you purchase almost anything within the last several the last decade, I would dare say, you've come across these things. Well, if you are in the 2A community and you have some ammo that you want to keep dry and you store, put them in a storage box, whether it be metal or plastic, save these things, toss them in the box, and this will aid you in keeping your ammo free of atmospheric moisture. Uh, every time I get them, I just disperse them amongst my ammo boxes and I put them in effect. And then periodically, I imagine you will change them out. But that's just a little tip to do with these things that uh, you definitely don't want to eat them as it says and you want to keep them out of the reach of young ones. But they do have a, another purpose if you uh, store your ammo for a period of time. There you go. Moving on to the paper towel test. What we're going to do, we're going to take a nice dry paper towel, put it into this dry container, put this container in the shower, uh, let the water run over for a little bit, remove the container, Take a look at the paper towel, and that is going to see how well this container kept the moisture out. After that, we are going to fill the tub with water, submerge the container with the paper towel in it, remove the 
the um, container, check the paper towel, and to see how well this object kept moisture out when this container was submerged. So we have the tub here, it's filled with water. What I'm gonna do now, I have the storage container, I have a dry paper towel, I'm gonna put the dry paper towel in the storage container, we're gonna close it up and submerge it in the water. Slide the latchet shut. We have the storage container here. You see the paper towel. The container is dry. I'm just going to push it down. We're right at the O-ring level. I'll flip it on the side a little bit. And it feels like, I feel like the seals are giving. Now I'm going to lift it straight out. What I'm going to do now is just dry the container off and see if any water got in. The reason I'm drawing the container off, I want to make sure that I don't get any droplets from the outside of the container on the inside. So let's open the container. And I'm looking around and I can tell you water did get in. From the container being submerged, you see we failed the paper towel test. So when it's submerged, it will not keep water out of that container. We didn't even apply pressure to the sides. And I can tell you, because I've done it previously, when you apply pressure to the sides, the water just rushes in. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna repeat the paper towel test, only this time we're gonna just turn it on in the shower. We're not testing for waterproofness like we did with the bathtub test. We're looking for water resistance with a little sprinkling in the shower. So we have a dry paper towel in a dry container. We're gonna close the container up, if I can do this with one hand. There it is, it's sealed. We're gonna take this to the shower. While I get this in position, you guys talk amongst yourselves. So we have the container and we're going to turn the shower on it and uh, let's see what happens with the paper towel test here. Move it a little bit over where it's getting splashed on. So it's right under the shower flow. We're going to let this happen for about two minutes. We're back in the shower. We're going to kill the water. Very much like we did last time, we're gonna get the container, we're gonna dry it off externally, and test the paper towel, see what the paper towel is looking like internally. We've dried it off fairly well on the outside, now we're gonna open it up. We're gonna check that paper towel. So here we go, we're opening it up. Oh, hope I don't drop it. Getting the paper towel out and the paper towel is dry. So water resistance, it's wonderful. Like if it was in a rainstorm for at least two minutes as long as we tested it anyway, uh, there's no moisture. But as we saw, this thing being submerged, it is not gonna keep out the moisture. But far as the splashing, like a rain, uh, you'll be fine. Here we are with the stackable box. And as we saw, with the test we just ran. Uh, waterproof, absolutely not. And again, to be fair, it doesn't make claims of being waterproof. It just states it's water resistant. From our shower test with the paper towel test uh, applied, it passed with flying colors. The paper towel stayed dry, implying that if you left it in, in rain for at least two minutes anyway, as we did in the shower, your contents would remain dry. So um, overall, does the test influence my choice to use this as a storage container. I'm gonna still utilize this as uh, my primary source of uh, medium to long-term ammo storage. Big reason being, I'm probably gonna cycle through my ammo before a time where um, atmospheric moisture would be an issue. I feel confident that this keeps atmospheric moisture out because I am keeping this container and the rest of my ammo in a climate controlled environment. I'm not constantly peeking in and out of my ammo except for when I utilize it. And again, I'm usually going to be cycling through the ammo before uh, the atmospheric pressure that would get into it through this container would be an issue. Um, that being said, guys, 
you might want to give this product a shot if you are looking for an alternate or less expensive uh, ammo storage solution. This is the HyperTuff stackable utility storage box available at Walmart in the hardware section. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching. Like and subscribe and live the dream.